Hi there, crafty peeps. Enos here from Paper Crafting with Enos, and I'm on today with a small project share. And this share is going to be a hashtag One Stamp Wednesday project hosted by Laura from Laura's Plans and Crafts. And a One Stamp Wednesday project can be anywhere from a card to a small folio or anything that you can fit into an envelope and just mail off with one stamp. And believe me, you can do some pretty neat things with just one stamp. <laughs> so I just have a little card that I'm going to tuck some ephemera in to send to somebody who sent me some Happy Mail. And before I show you my card, I did want to show you the products that I used. So I am using a couple of stamps from this Dollar Tree Crafter Square stamp set that my sister Lisa gifted to me. This time I'm using the Thank You and the Four Thinking of Me stamps. So I, I love this font here. I think this is really, really pretty. So those are my stamps. I used a couple of pieces of this flat back Jemmy Bling package, and this came from Timu. So those are really cute, and they're in blacks and yellows with some iridescent look to them. So really pretty there. I also used a little bit of this My Scrap Cabin crinkled seam binding that I got from Etsy, and this is in the color Vintage. And it's kind of a dusty pink color, as you can see there, a little bit more on the dusty side, but it goes great with this paper. And then I am using a sheet of paper from this digital paper collection that I got from an Etsy shop called Blossom Paper Art. And this is her floral garden collection. There are several different prints in there. The one that I'm using looks very similar to this, only the print is much smaller of the images and I think much more appropriate for a card. And I just want to tell you, I have used lots of papers from this paper collection on projects in the past. I've had the collection for a couple of years now. I've used them on cards. I've used it to cut out and make ephemera. I've done folios and a number of other small projects and it, they always come out so, so pretty. So yeah, these are some samples from the collection that I just had in my stash. And I am going to put links in the description box below. Number one to hashtag One Stamp Wednesday, to Laura from Laura's Plans and Crafts, to Blossom Paper Art, this particular collection, Floral Garden. I will have a link to My Scrap Cabin, Vintage, as long as Vintage is still available. If it's not, it'll just be the link to the Etsy shop. And I think I have the link for these jemmies, so I will have that below as well. So those are the products that I used, for the most part anyway. And here is my card. I think it turned out really, really pretty. So I did make an envelope for this card on my punch board. These are an A2 card envelope and card. And in order to get this pretty inside to my envelope, what I did was I measured my paper from side to side of the envelope and from the bottom of the envelope to the tip of the envelope. Then I just stuck the card down inside. Sorry for the kitty that's coming through. <laughs> and turn the envelope over and the paper sticks out up here. I just took a pencil and I drew around. Then I glued the paper in and then I trimmed around the top. So you don't see any of the printed cardstock on the outside, you just see that pretty cardstock on the inside. So that's my envelope. And then here is my little card. It's very simple, but it turned out super, super pretty. Once again, I'm using the Michaels Craft cardstock here, and I do think this is a 65 pound. I cut a piece of the matching paper from here to go on the card front. I inked around the paper with Vintage Photo from Ranger. And I think that looks great on there since so it's got a vintage vibe. And here is a double loop bow that I made using the crinkle seam binding. And you can see in the center there I have one of the flat back jemmies. So I think that's really pretty there. I took a little piece of scrap from the paper, inked around the edge of the scrap paper after I stamped on it, and then I backed it up with a piece of the craft color cardstock, popped it up on some foam tape, but before I glued it down, I just took a couple of tiny pieces of the seam binding. I tied a little knot on each end, and I glued that behind on this side and this side. So, yeah, I thought that was just a cute little something on there. And then you can see I do have a couple more jemmies on there. And I think with the pattern on this paper, it's so pretty you don't need to add much to it. I think it's, it's beautiful just the way it is. 
And then the inside, it just says, for thinking of me, and I used another piece of scrap on there. So I have plenty of room to write a sentiment to my crafty buddy, and that's what I have for you today. Don't forget, I will have links to most of the products down in the description box below, as well as the hashtag One Stamp Wednesday and Laura from Laura Plans and Crafts noted in the description box. If you have any questions, feel free to drop me a little note below. I'd appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button and the like button so that I know you're out there, you're watching my videos, and you're enjoying my content. And um, yeah, with that, I'm going to say goodbye, and I'll catch you on the next crafty video. See you later, crafty peeps. Bye.